when we think about new technologies and innovation, it's our instincts as human being to graph what we know onto new things. And so we think about explicability and transparency around algorithms in the same way we think about it around source code. AI is not driven by source code. Uh, the, the part of the differential is with source code and the way that we think about computing today, it's driven by linear logic. And so the way adults may think, while with AI it's experiential, so the way that a two-year-old would think by reinforced learning, uh, very different and, and creates important distinctions when you talk about issues around transparency and explicability. In the principles, we think about it in two respects. One is explicability uh, with, with the idea being there's a lot of work being done in this area, but how do we think about explaining the implications of the algorithm in a way that helps people to understand not only the outcomes, but the, not only the inputs, but the outputs. Uh, and then second, how can we begin to think about accountability? So what are the frameworks that we need to put in place to ensure that if things do go wrong, which they're not humans, the level the, and likelihood and probability of wrong is lower but not zero, who is held accountable and responsible? So in the most tangible term, an automobile, uh, if you have an highly autonomous vehicle, how do you begin thinking about an insurance pool and designating responsibility when there is an accident? The answers don't exist today, but it's important that we begin thinking about the framework, the principles that would go into how we create an insurance pool, because that's critical, right? In the same way that we have insurance today, we want to make sure that insurance exists in the world of tomorrow.